Hello, I'm Father Andrew Messina. Welcome to St. Timothy's in Warwick. And today Jesus has a question for all of us. And the question is as follows. What are we looking for in life? What are we looking for in life? Sounds like a very basic question, and it truly is. What's going to give us happiness? Is it a new job, a really well-paying job? Is it a fancy car, a fancy home, lots of money? What's, what's going to do it? What's going to satisfy that itch, if you will, that we have inside us? Well, you know, those things like new jobs, new houses, new cars, a lot of money, those do bring us happiness. But the problem with each and every one of them is that the happiness only lasts for a while. Next thing you know, we're looking for something else, and something else, and something else. But what Jesus wants to challenge us to learn, to find out, is that if we're looking for true peace, true happiness, true love, don't need to go anywhere else. Just need to look above. Just need to look at Jesus. Now, in this week's Gospel, we hear the voice of God the Father, said to the people of the time, as he says to all of us today, right here in the 21st century, this is my chosen son, listen to him. It's very profound. This is my chosen son, listen to him. Because when we do listen to God, when we really try to make God's word an integral part of our lives, our lives become immeasurably better. When we bind our will to God's, nothing like it. And we have two great saints this week that remind us of how important and how necessary that is, St. Patrick and St. Joseph. They both learned in their own ways and at different times in their lives the true necessity of having that really good, tight relationship with God. They're great role models for all of us, and we're so grateful for helping us to bring us closer to Jesus. So as we continue our Lenten journey this year, we ask the intercession of our dear Blessed Mother Mary, St. Joseph and St. Patrick, and all the saints, all the angels, to help us to become better disciples, to really do what God wants us to do to the very best of our abilities. And may, may we always ask the Lord and all of them to help us to always love God and to always love our neighbor. God bless you all, and thank you so much.